Let's hear the vision. This is kind of scaring me because I don't... All right, so what's the idea? All right, guys. As you know, I recently boosted the BRZ. Granted, this is a little baby intercooler, but it's still pretty cool. When I first boosted this car, I told you guys that I was going to cut off the actual front grill of the BRZ bumper to kind of expose how cool like the, the intercooler and the intercooler piping looks like. So today, I'm finally actually getting to that, and I'm having trouble deciding whether I want to just cut off half of the front bumper or actually do the full thing. I asked you guys on Instagram what you thought, whether I should just do half or full. It's about like 75% say that I should do full. Really? Be before I go- That's a Aggressive. Before I go all in, I just have, I'm gonna go half first, just to see what it looks like with half of it off. And then uh, if I think I can go more, I'm just gonna send it. But look at this. So if I do the full thing, I think it's gonna look super awesome because when we cut this off, we'll be able to see the intercooler piping and like the gold heat wrap along with the entire intercooler. So I think it could be pretty rad. Just before I, you know, I full send, I'm gonna be responsible and just do half of it this time. So what's coming off? Basically what's coming off is just this lower piece right in here. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna cut it off. We are finally cutting the BRZ today. Let's do it. This car actually looks super cool without a front bumper on. To do this job, we're using one of these little Dremel tools from Harbor Freight. Like I said, I'm just gonna start out with the lower portion of this front bumper to see how it looks. We're gonna try it out. Baby Dremel, the bits were a little too small and they were, uh, let's see, uh, flimsy as shit. So, flimsy. <laughs> we, brought out the, we brought out the big guns here. Yeah. So, we are seriously going to take this thing off now. So, boy. <laughs> So keep in mind, after I'm done actually cutting all of this, I'll go back and clean up the edges so it doesn't look so rough, and it'll look really nice whenever it's all cut out. <laughs> Initially looking at it, it's a it's a tad bit rough here, okay? But it's cool. Let's see let's see how big the opening is. <laughs> see back. Oh, that's actually pretty sick, dude. Intercooler's perfectly in yeah. there. Damn. Now I don't know if I want to do the full. Do I send it? The intercooler looks really good. I almost just say do the full. Honestly, worst case scenario. <laughs> Worst case, but I think it might look good. I think it's gonna look good if I do the full. What are we do what are we doing here? <laughs> Alright, how about we flip a coin? Oh my gosh, this is what it's coming down the, the to. The fate of my bumper comes down to a, a coin toss. Alright. Dang, Dustin, sick rims on your daily, brother. What's the offset on these baddies, huh? You don't talk shit about the bro van, huh? right? It definitely looks cool without the grill. I'm super happy with it. How cool is it gonna look without the full bumper? Well, we'll, we'll see. Dan, what do you want? You're putting this on me? What do you want? Heads. Heads, Heads means no cut. Right, Heads means no cut. You ready? Uh, and whatever whatever it is on the ground is what, it, yeah. what we're calling. Yeah. Why did you do this to us? <laughs> it honestly looks pretty good. It looks good. It looks good. Ah! Why? Why? Jesus! We're sending it. Let's just do it. <laughs> I can't even get the pump.
You know, we could just flip this again and people would never know. That's not how we do it around here. That's not how we do it at Legends. Legend garage, garage Legends. Baby. Oh my god. Now we have to come up with a, str a strategic plan to get this thing off. Okay. This looks somewhat decent here. I'm hopefully going to set myself up success by taping exactly where I need to cut. If you want your bumper cut, come to me. Yeah, this is basically what I'm saying. We're doing thousand dollar bumper cuts. All right, so here's the line that I have to follow in order to make this a precise and actually good cut. So, uh, wish we went heads, man. This could be uh, really bad or really good. Woo. All right, Dan. <laughs> I like how excited you are. Oh man, I'm super excited for this. All right, you ready for the first incision? Yeah. We're going in. This is, we're going all in guys. This is, actually it's our fault, but a lot of you guys on Instagram are telling me to do the full cut. Yeah, it's their fault. It's not our fault. We, that's right, yeah, it's not our yeah. fault. We're legends, we don't, right, right. We don't that's make right. mistakes. <laughs> Be like, oh, so that was the bumper cut video. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That is not where I'm supposed to come from. <laughs> we, we really fucked up, dude. <laughs> I think it's fine. You know what, guys? We're gonna keep sending it. We're gonna keep going for it. All right, hey, you know, it's fine. Uh, we are not gonna turn this bumper over until we're finished. That's the deal. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> It's probably a mistake. No. No. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> this is it. We cut it out, dude. We cut it out. Honestly, with we should put that on the wall or something. We should, for sure. We cut it out with a little bit of the bumper, but uh. All right, I am so, I I want you to flip this up so I can see what it looks like, but I am so scared. No? We got more to cut. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So actually we did decide we're gonna cut off this black trim in here as well, just to clean it up a little bit. I think that will make it look just a little bit better as well. We're gonna finish this up and we'll show you guys before we actually clean it up so you can see it like a before and after. Definitely needs a little bit of cleaning up, which we can just do with like the Dremel or like the flappy disc or something like that. Kind of clean up these edges, but. Oh my hole. That's a hole. Maybe there, there was like, what? Couple couple inches last time of vents? We have maximum airflow. Maximum. For the world's largest intercooler here. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. We will need a bigger intercooler, absolutely. <laughs> see what it looks like. Please God. <laughs> I think it's fucking tight, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you're not, I like it, dude. You're not gonna have any overheating problems with the uh, with the airflow reasons. I like it. Yeah? I dig it. It's I all can dig it for sure. We'll just clean it up and it'll look perfect. Oil cooler? Oof. Okay. Can yep. Yep. New yeah, intercooler. Can... Slap of blow up valve right up in here. I, I dig it, dude. Good. It is a little bit, it, a little, it is excessive, I will say that. I like but it. You guys know, my ultimate plan is to have the Varus kit for this car. But to have like bumpers like this, because like my next idea, let's yeet off the rear diffuser in the back. Oh, let's go look at it. Yeet this off, right? Cut, up, cut all of this off and get the Street Faction dash bar with a mm. jack point back here. So when I do do my drift days, when I'm not driving on the street or whatever, I have these bumpers to swap over, take the various, various bumpers off, put these bumpers on drift spares. Same thing as wheels really, essentially. That bumper is good for a track day. I mean, open airflow. It makes sense in my head, okay? okay. But uh, Let's go clean it up. So we're using the flappy disc to kind of clean up these rough edges. It's actually looking a lot better getting everything nice and even, getting all of this little plastic. Just extra plastic. Just extra plastic off of all of our cuts. Yes. Um, coming out good so far. It actually looks really good. You know what it honestly looks like? Whoa. What? I was looking at it through the lens. What? It looks like the Rocket Bunny massive. Oh, it does. 
It okay. does. Obviously, it's not. We're not saying it is. I, look, I really like the way it looks from the front. Yeah, it looks good. It looks super aggressive, dude. I'm stoked. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt everything up. We cleaned it up, and then we'll do some uh, some cool shots. Okay, we have made it home. Me and Tiana do have kind of a date night tonight. I have a cheat meal tonight, which is awesome, thankfully. So if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I used to do like these little like movie review things. I love movies. I'm a huge movie fan. And actually one of the movies that I've been really wanting to see came out, it's called Us. It has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. We're gonna give you guys comprehensive. Oh God. Comprehensive review? Comprehensive movie review when we're done watching. I didn't know it was a scary movie. It is a scary movie. I thought it was some I think it's one. gonna be more of a thriller, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. If you guys saw Get Out, this is made by Jordan Peele as well. This is gonna be so good. This looks terrifying. She didn't see Get Out. Sorry, dude. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Horror movies are my favorite, especially ones that are like carefully thought out like this. We'll give you guys an update when we watch it. What do you think? I'm mind blown right One now. out of 10, what's your rating? 10 out of 10 for sure. It was a 10 out of 10. That movie was amazing. I still have so many questions. I have, it's one of those where like it's scary and it's a thriller and it's like mind blowing all in one. 10 out of 10, you should definitely go see it. Granted, I'm sweating, <laughs> but like it was a good movie. All right, that is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.